right, welcome everybody, viewers on YouTube and stuff. Uh, today's day 282, making song bringer, and I'm working on the day night cycle. The last three days, I've uh, been taking a couple days off streaming for Christmas, and um, but I've got it now where we can uh, have a day night cycle. So this is a really, really sped up day-night cycle here. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be refining this today. There's a lot of little things to do to get this to be refined. For example, um, oh, we of course the timing of it all. But secondly, the shadows. Actually, let's go to a different area where it'll make more sense. Here you can see the shadows pretty well. You know, one thing would be really cool is if shadows actually were underneath everybody. <laughs> Can't believe that's never been done. But yeah, sh yeah, shadows should be underneath. Um, but really, I want I, first thing I want to do is make the shadows move more correctly. Let's go to an area where it's it's really nice and apparent. That's where I was working on this last night. 860. Yeah, here you can see the shadows moving very clearly. Okay, um, one thing I want to do first is to move, is to actually change the so um, the way this all this all works is that each area has two different factors. There's a outdoorness factor, how out how outdoors it is, and a lightness factor, how light it is. Um, right now, I'm just I've got this hack in here where it basically just changes the lightness of an, of the render system um, if it's an if if an area has outdoorness. Mightiness, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream and happy holidays, man. I'm doing good. How about you? So to make this more accurate, how it should be, is it should start with a lightness factor. So we'll start with something like float, lightness equals lightness. Now if the outdoorness is greater than zero, it's going to apply some, some lightness. It'll, actually, it should mix in lightness. So if outdoors is greater than zero, then lightness equals a mix of current lightness and this um, and the, the alpha here is the outdoorness so right let me think about that if outdoorness is at full 1.0 then we're gonna use this whole this whole fi sign factor based on the game's current hour, which is like the, the time or whatever. Um, yeah, here's an alternate algorithm too, where it kind of does this stepping algorithm. Let me keep that checked in for now. It's part of this check in. Yeah, so and if the if the outdoorness is at full zero, we're gonna just gonna use the existing lightness that we already have. Which I guess could be represented like that. There we go. Okay, so now we've got this this light, proper lightness factor, and I can use that everywhere here. Hey, thanks for the follow, yo. Mm, there we go. Apply this everywhere in this function that we use lightness. We're going to use that lightness. There we go. 
Okay, so now every area has its own lightness factor. And for example, if if a certain area <clears throat> What's up, Pedro? If a certain area had uh happy holidays to you too, man. How was your how's the steam controller? How'd you end up liking that? Did you get did you open it yet? Um Yeah, so an area could have could have full lightness. Like it does right now. So every outdoor area currently has full lightness. And then it could be factored as well. You love it? Cool. Nice. How does it compare to other controllers? So if this area perhaps said had perhaps. Oh, this should be lightness times. Okay, there. There. Now we can now, yeah, that's more that's now it's proper. Nice. You're nice, right on. It's made you better. Cool. So it must be good then. Is that really good feel? How does how do the buttons feel? How does that how do those haptic feedback things feel? Right? So if this area had half lightness, it would take that half lightness and multiply it by the sine wave of lightness. And then factor that in based on the outdoorness. Okay, so let's see that. Always compiles so slow when I'm streaming. It fills your hand, it feels more natural. Ooh, although it takes a while to get used to. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, good. I guess we could test out. Yeah, let's let's test out the lightness being partially. Is the sound working? Hold on. Let me make sure this is all correct here. Sound. Headphones. Yeah. Should be okay. All right. So in world, it sets up areas. Or just create maze. Here's that. Here we go. Here's how it sets up an area. The lightness is going to be 1.0 if it's z equals zero. Let's do a little hack real quick. So if the um, p dot x plus p dot y mod Wait, did I do times? Plus p dot y mod two equals zero. Then we're gonna use uh, 1.0. Otherwise, we use half. So basically, that's gonna make every other area have half the lightness. So it should. Um, the haptic feedback is awesome. It really feels like you're a part of the controller. Cool. Awesome. I think I'm going to get one too then. I got to get one anyways because I got to have like all the major controllers. I think that's going to be a major controller over the next year. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be one of those? There are two triggers in the back where your ring and pinky fingers are, but I didn't get used to them yet. Where your ring and pinky. Interesting. Yeah, so what this is going to do is, is um, it should be able to... to uh, Still have lightness and have the day night cycle, but blending one every other area is going to be lighter and darker. So I'm not sure what this current area will eight plus six mod. This one should be zero, so this one should be full lightness. Okay, and if I walk to another area, yeah, this one barely becomes light. And it should transition correctly too, so if it's, say, totally nighttime 
here and I transition areas there should be no glitches as it moves Do you prefer eating hard-boiled <laughs> eggs or using a kite in the wind? A uh, kite? Steam Big Picture also supports a ton of user-made configurations for the controller. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's got to be awesome, huh? I'm not quite seeing the uh, this whole lightness difference yet. Let's tone it down even more so the maximum brightness for these every other area is going to be 0.25 now I gotta turn down my frame rate because it's I'm streaming kills my kills my ability to run the game at 60 frames a second Alex Pita what's up buddy Bella Zio also the right trigger and left trigger are not only triggers but also acts as a button if you press them down enough interesting Oh, okay, so this area I think is darker. Yeah. Yeah, this area is not getting to full light. And then this area... Wait a minute, is this area not getting to full light either? Can't tell. Okay, let's make this let's make this really obvious how this is gonna work. So this area's position if this area is that area we're just at, eight six zero, we're gonna use full brightness. Everything else is gonna be a quarter brightness. Oh yeah, you can tell this one's really bright now. Okay, let's go over here. Ah, I see it blended to this darker area. Yeah, this one's barely getting light. But still kind of looks like daylight, almost. Wait. Nope, it's still kind of like dusky. And this area as well should also be. Oh, you can pro you can program those triggers perform different actions for different levels of how much you press down. Interesting. All right, this is good. I like this. I can do one final check, and that would be in like here. I can just like uh, log out the current lightness and all that. Hey, what's up, Spymort? Welcome to the stream. Happy holidays. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad you're liking the night effect. I'm loving it, too. It's been a lot of work to get this done. The last three days solid. I took off I took off the days for not... I didn't stream, but I did code. And I've been working on this shader for quite a while. You think the 50 bucks is underpriced? Wow. Okay. That's good to know. We should have lightness, lightness, yeah. Okay, so we can, uh, this time it's going to log out the lightness so I can actually see the numbers and just make sure, triple check that this is actually, yeah, it's been, a, it's been, actually has been a pretty productive Christmas season here. How about yourself? How's, how was the, how's the holidays been? Okay, there it's dark. It's light again. Let's walk to this area. This area should be darker overall. Oh yeah, right? What was in those boxes and stuff? Yeah, I've got some cool presents. 
Um, uh, this this uh, shirt I'm wearing is a present. Um, I got a rock climbing uh, gym um, gift card so I can go rock climbing. That sounds fun. Um, yeah. What else? Some shoes. Some gloves. This cool like um, diffuser thing with all these different essential oils and stuff like that. So you can you can like make an air like a room like have this slight aroma. It's pretty nice. Okay, so let's check out these the results of that. I don't like to read things inside that little tiny window. What's up, Scottish Pizza? Welcome to stream. All right, so it started off, tick zero, alpha one, light. There's one light. It's fully outdoors, full lightness. Not full lightness, but close. And yeah, it went back up to full lightness back on all the way down to zero lightness there should be an area to here we go we're transitioning areas from eight six to nine six and it should quickly go back down in its lightness all the way yeah there it blended it back down to like a quarter and it should only be at a maximum of a quarter yep good it's going down to zero it's going back up to 0.25 and that's the max. All right, that works properly. I like it. This is actually ready to check in. Yeah, good Christmas, totally. All right. Mm, I think this is ready to check in. Let's make sure. Oh, right. There's that little bit we hacked into the world. Got to undo that. All right, so this should just be 1.0. By default, outdoor areas have a 1.0 lightness. Now there shouldn't be any difference with that line of code. Good. All right, yeah. Cool. Check it in. This is proper day night lightness applied to render system. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to play with the actual angles of the light. Is that the next thing I want to do? Yeah, I guess so. So right now, yeah. Right now, the, the angles of the light are, I guess you could say they might be right, depending on the which way is south, how this planet tilts, and all that stuff. But I think I want to try out making the shadows so they are actually um, more like more like how our planet would be. So as it goes, as the light gets close to <laughs> evening, it's going to be shadows stretching really far horizontally. So right now the, sh the shadows stretch the farthest when it's when they're at noon and you know that's when the shadows should be the smallest. So I'm going to work on the actual sine wave for the shadows next and make them so they're long at sunset. Only minor annoyance with the controller is the fact that it uses AA batteries. Oh, it does? Wait, but isn't there, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a wired version, right? Can't you get the non-wireless version? I'm, if I order one of those, I'm definitely going to get the wired version. Because I heard there was a wired version. I definitely do not want the wireless. Thanks, buy more. Yeah, I think it could look a little better though if it had if it was more natural. 
more like we would expect. And then also after that, I want to make them so the shadows actually appear only on the ground. So right now when you see a shadow kind of, it crosses over something in front of it. That's, I guess it kind of works that way in real life, but the shadow would bend, you know, of course. So I want to try making shadows only apply to the ground. Okay, so where does it do the sine wave for the shadows? Oh, that's still in the render system. Move shadow, I believe. Here it is. Oh, okay, so you can use it wired or not, but you always need the AA batteries. Oh, damn. Oh. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess if you go get some good... Yeah, I guess I would prefer also if it had rechargeable battery built in. Well, it's la vie. Okay, so last night when I was doing this, I got really tired and I couldn't finish my sine wave I was trying to do to make those right. So, this code's all checked in. I'm going to play with the new sine wave. This is where I was at last night. Let's see what the heck this does. If you could charge the batteries through the USB cable, that would be awesome. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had it really messed up last night. I think I might just start over. I'm not sure what the heck I was thinking here. First of all, oh, it's the hour is really messed up there. Let's start with the, this old hour. Vadiman, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Problem, question mark. What do you mean? We're kind of getting it right. Oh, it might actually be the way the shadow is set up. So I think, okay, let's think about this here. The, it's, the way it does shadows is it's, um, it gives a position for the light and then it determines an angle and all that based on the light's position. It gives, it gives a skew angle basically for, oh, I bet you because I've got the skew max, the max skew angle is 145. If that was 180. Yes, I did. Yeah, I heard about that. I was I was checking Twitter on that day, and uh, yeah, people were going crazy. Like, uh, oh, look at it. it does different different shadows based on position of the huh. But yeah, that 180 actually made it so. You can get fully 180 degrees. Show the code which implements objects. I'm showing the code, man. Okay, I'm gonna pass in a different, I'm gonna pass in an actual max skew. So, which number of lights, max opacity. Let's do here, float. 
max skew. And this is going to be max skew here. So here we go. So the normal shadows have a max skew of 145. And these shadows here for daylight have a max shadow there. Um, and I think I think now the light position needs to be based on the actual position of the sprite. Let's see if that's correct. keep playing nice all right Pedro yeah have fun man enjoy yourself see ya shadows start off nice there they're nice and long so it's, it's got to be this math right here area size dot X times a half plus the hour times area size dot X times two So if this was zero, negative zero, does that even, oh yeah, negative zero is fine, doesn't matter. And then one, so that should make it only able to, oh, 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 ah, oh, I see what's wrong with this. This needs to be minus, oh, minus one, and this is times two, there. So yeah, from the from the current position of the sprite, the light's position needs to be um, subtracted the whole area size and then adding in the hour times two, not a half. Yeah. There we go, cool. But it's uh, it's not quite waking up the sprite or the shadow soon enough. Do I get anything cool for Christmas? Yes, tons of cool stuff, totally. Uh huh. Um, got this awesome rock climbing gift certificates. I go rock climbing at this local gym. Another gift stick to get some clothes. I haven't got clothes in a long time. Got this awesome hoodie here, and yeah, man, it was a great Christmas. What about you, man? You anything cool? If that, if that sign there is times a half, I think it'll do a shorter shadow at noon. Ah, oh, you got a new laptop! Nice! I think I need a longer shadow at noon. Maybe this needs to be more like 0.9. And a few games, cool. You did, did you get hit? Did you get hit? What kind of games did you get? For what systems? Did you hear about the steam problem on the on the, the 25th? Luckily, I was checking Twitter that day. Realized not to go to the steam store. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Now it's got a 
For Xbox One, cool. Right now, what'd you get? You did? You went to the store? Or you didn't go to the store? Or you heard about the problem, probably, yeah. Okay, so this is 8.8. .8. But this does this does change. Oh no! Jackal Gamer, what's up? What happened to Steam? They had some prop, some caching issue, where if you visited the Steam store, it would cache your information and then display your cached information to other people. So it was kind of a big security flaw. Um, from what I understand, you could see people's partial credit card numbers even. Um, so yeah, so they were recommending that you should unlink your PayPal account and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, it was it was kind of a debacle. All right, these shadows need to be longer. At uh, at sunset. You got Final Fantasy, Need for Speed, Rocksmith, and Star Wars Battlefront. Dude, you got a lot of games. Sweet. Yeah, I know. Glad you didn't make any purchases. Totally. Yeah, I'm not sure how that all turned out. I mean, maybe it, maybe they fixed it all and, you know, I'm sure they did whatever they had to do to make things right. Rise of the Tomb Raider, cool. Which Final Fantasy is that that you got? Is there, did they just release a new Final Fantasy? Looks like there's 15, huh? Whoa. Oh, that's going to be June. So did you get 14 then? This is my favorite game series when I was a kid. Love Final Fantasy. Have you guys seen the um, the Warcraft movie trailer yet? Wow, dude, look at the art. Okay, so we've got a nice sine wave going, but at... When the hour is at half... Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake, totally. That was one of my favorites. Oh, it's gonna be episodic though? Damn. Oh, wow. Cool. Man, I'm really behind on my Final Fantasy series. Um, dude, one of my favorites is Final Fantasy 3. Um, 3, 4, and 5 are really cool. I loved how they changed up the the battle system. I loved 1, of course. 1 was just, you know, when I was a kid, that was like... That was the first game I ever bought, Final Fantasy 1. Saved up money all summer to buy it. All right, so when it's yeah, I think when it's when it's at evening and and uh, when it's at sunset and sunrise, I want the shadows to be longer. So it actually needs more Y height. So it needs to go maybe twice as high even. 
So one Oh, here, just do 1.0 there. Yeah, that's what you got you into RPGs? Cool. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII? Oh, epic. Totally epic. That's, it's getting a little bit longer. Let's do even, let's do more. Well, I'll make it so it, um, it squishes down lower at noon. Yeah, it used to be all about fighting games. Cool. Like Street Fighter and Raiden and all that. Not Raiden. What's the name of that one with Raiden in it? Mortal Kombat, of course. Yeah, now we got some really nice long shadows at, at sunrise and sunset. You got Hell's Course 3? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mortal Kombat. All right, so the next thing is to make it so the shadows aren't as tall at noon. They got a really nice height going on it. So this could be something like 0.95, I think, and that will squish them down at noon. Oh, there's a mod, whoa. Oh, a mod for Elder Scrolls 3? Man, the new Elder Scrolls looks looks pretty good too. Man, that's okay, but it looks kind of weird. It's the it's the passage through noon. It looks weird. It squishes down, and then it like jumps back up. It. Hmm. Maybe a little less there, maybe a little less here. Yeah, nice. Fallout 4, one of the top games of 2015 from all the results. Okay, the next thing is that the shadows like pop into existence a little too late. Shadows need to start at a certain hour. What is going on with these at You've been mucking around with Unity again? Sweet, man. Nice, good. You think you're getting somewhere. You are. You are, man. You know what's crazy? Is sometimes when you're coding games, actually when you're coding anything, some days, you spend the whole day, you feel like you didn't, you feel like you didn't make that much progress, right? You spend the whole day doing something and you feel like, man, Today I didn't make much progress. It kind of feels like you feel like you let yourself down almost, but it's not true. Some days you just actually the fruit of your entire day is just the understanding that you get out of it. You know that is the value. That's that's the total fruit of your day. I had one of those days recently where I'm doing this shader stuff where I spent all day 
just trying to understand how the heck my old shader worked and I really didn't make it didn't feel like I made any progress but I really did because the next day it was like easy as hell I was like man oh sweet this is how the shader works this is how I want to modify things this is how I want to look the nighttime to look and all that what's up rocket bunny what I get for Christmas I got some cool cool gifts from my fiance she gave me uh, this sweet hoodie right here some shoes gift card to get some more clothes gift card to go rock climbing can't wait to go rock climbing it's cool diffuser thing and yeah Bafu. okay so I'm working on the nighttime in the shadows here yeah so, spy more sometimes Spend days just thinking on how you'll do things with code. Yeah, totally. What's up, Halfeck? Boogie Man! Boogie Man's here. What's up, Boogie? What's up, Anonymous? <laughs> Anonymous. The understanding I get from those days tastes more like vegetables than fruits to me. Totally! Okay. You know what? That, that whole analogy has just been revamped. You revamped that analogy completely. The vegetables that you get from those day, the nutrients that you get are more of a vegetable type of nutrient. Boogie. Christmas. Yeah. Oh, Pedro got his um uh his steam controller and he really likes it. Mm. <laughs> Some veggies are good, truly, right? Like uh What's a really great tasting vegetable? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> yeah, he said he really likes it. He says the haptic feedback thing is really cool. He said it took a little bit of getting used to where the buttons are. This, that's, it's got some really cool features too, like you can hold down some buttons. Carrots, good example, nice. So I'm working on this day-night cycle thing here. I got the shadows looking a little bit better, but now they I want them to appear sooner. So it's like the night time is gonna be shorter. Okay. Okay, so the hour we have needs to be if the hour is like less than 0 0.5, then it gets squashed down even further. And if it's greater than 0 0.5, it gets multiplied a bit so like we could go third two-thirds let me just sort of pseudocode this here like um hour less than 0 0.5 is becomes one third and hour greater than 0 0.5 becomes two-thirds i think that'll that's what we want Potatoes, oh, totally. Raw cabbage is true. Cabbage is pretty nice. Nice, you, should, you seem to be okay with it? Cool. Rocket Bunny, that's nice. What's up, Su Suhan? <laughs> you saw Songbird on Tumblr? Cool. Right on, man. Well, now you're seeing it live. I'm making it live right now. I'm making these shadows a little bit better. I want the, I want them to be, um, to last a little longer. Okay, so I'm gonna take this hour, and if it's less than 0 0.5, it's gonna be like a third. If it's greater, then it's gonna be two thirds. That's pretty easy. So hour equals, um, hour is less than 0 0.5. It's going to be hour times a third. And uh, otherwise, it's hour times two thirds. Let's see if that worked. Thanks, Suhan. How long will the day be? Good question. Very good question. In fact, I'm I want to ask you guys, how long do you think the day should be 
in Songbringer. As as far as it's gonna su it's gonna correspond to your amount of game time. I'm thinking. So, you know, you've always got the time down in your lower right corner when you're on the map. And I think when you're when you're speed running, it'll actually have a little timer, kind of like Axiom Verge does. But um. Yeah, how much game time should correspond to a day in the game? Six minutes. Six minutes, cool. You, did you guys both say that at the same time? Taki, <laughs> that's awesome. Scottish Pizza Wizard, I made this 3D thingy. It's not getting, it's not got any objective. You just want, oh, oh, it's not got, okay. You just walk around looking at a kind of post-apocalyptic wasteland, sweet. You don't need an objective, man. That's pretty awesome. Two real life days equals one game day. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Okay, so that didn't work. This is kind of broken the shadows completely. You were thinking 15 to 20. Okay. All right, all right. Maybe we should do a straw poll, huh? Let's do a straw poll. Straw poll. Um, okay, so. Option one, six minutes is a whole day and night. Um, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Post this for y'all. Sixty, holy moly! Oh, random links. Yeah, it could be a binary star. It's true. I mean, we could tell totally, the uh, right if it was like a, some kind of weird, you know, star system. Yeah, you think people should play it and see how it feels? True, true, true. It will boil down to that in the end, Sohan. Um, and there's an out. There's an alpha update coming out here in the next. Um, Probably, maybe this week, probably next week. So but yeah, so people will be able to play it and actually give some direct feedback. Nice. Okay, I messed this up here. Hour equals, how did this get so messed up? Oh no, not two thirds. This needs to be one over two thirds. Which is what? 1.5? Yeah, three halves. 1.5. There we go. Let's see if that, that is better. Does it have an effect on play? Not yet, but I'm totally open to that. Yeah. Right? Night only enemies. It'll, it's definitely going to have ambience. Like, there'll be different ambiences and things like that. But yeah. Right? Maybe some, maybe some secrets? Only can be found during nighttime or daytime. Maybe, you know, if there's, maybe you can only get into secret areas or secret dungeons and how come the shadows are totally gone now? It's weird. What did I do? All right, so my math is messed up. Right? Monsters had more loot. That's cool. Oh, when a shadow casts on a certain stone. No, that would be cool. Very Lord of the Rings. Burn some ants. 
eight minutes. That's a nice compromise between six and fifteen. What? I, t I totally missed all this. Wait, oh, there. It happened right at noon. Okay, let's turn this off for a second. Let's go back to the regular. I'll think about this math. How, how would I make it so... If, so hour is... Um, Oh, you know what? It probably needs to be applied before the sine wave. Yeah, so if the hour, you get the normal hour and then do some craziness to it to extend it. All right, let me think about this here. If if the hour is greater than 0 0.5, let's say it's let's say it's 1.0, then the hour is going to become 1.0 times 1.5. That's wrong. Hmm. Six and fifteen are tied. Yeah, you can, man. Send a screenshot. Scottish Pizza. Is normally there are pillars and stairs? No, Spymore, there's not. Yeah, that's totally a bug. And I have that written down on my little current bug list. <laughs> I hate having bug lists. Where is that at? Here, make the cliffs use stair tiles so enemies don't place themselves. Yeah, that's definitely on my list. Results. Ooh, we got six minutes and 15 are tied right now. You're making a game too? Nice. Yeah, Suhan, right? I know, 5% is really more like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's how game development is, right? So... If the hour is less than 0 0.5, ah, see, I want it to be stretchy. How do I do this math? Let me let me show you what I'm trying to do. I'll draw what I'm trying to trying to do. Six minutes wins. Oh, now it's four versus three. Well, there's so many people bo voting for both. Oh, now they're tied. There's so many people voting for both that I think it. I think around there, in somewhere in between there, is probably the good compromise for now. Okay, so here is a day, right? The hour starts at zero. Hour goes all the way to one. Here's the hour of 0 0.5. Essentially, this is midnight at zero. At 0 0.25, we're it's uh, sunrise. 0 0.5 is noon. 0 0.75. Here, let's just put in sunrise. Sunrise. Is right there. Here's sunset. Right there. 15 minute day, six minute night. I like that where, yeah, where it's actually accurate for summer or whatever season it is. How do you do a screenshot on Unity? I don't know. How do you do a screenshot on your system? Are you using Windows or Mac or what? See you spy more later. Okay. So once we, yeah. I want to compress all this. 
so that it becomes like this. First of all, let's let's add a little. So I want this to become like this. So sunrise gets pushed back. Like that maybe, maybe even further. And sunset also gets pushed back. Like that, or maybe even further. can't look at it what's up what's up with this link oh yeah what's it? it's not working for me either all right so how how do I do this how do I compress the time how do I compress this number without with stretching out the rest of the number So if this is like, um, this is 0 0.25, and this is 0 0.75. Zero point seven five becomes like zero point nine or so, and then zero point two five becomes zero point one, zero point five is always zero point. Oh, well, that may uh, already this is kind of making sense. Nice, got a link here. Oh yeah, I saw that last night. Nice. What's it do, what's it do? Okay, so the bottom number is pretty easy, the 0 0.1. You just take 0 0.25 and multiply it by the factor to get it to be smaller and crunched down. If it's between the two ranges of the higher range, though, we want to stretch it out, but based on the middle, Oh yeah, funky, right? Could be that. Okay, let me start coding this. I think it's gonna be based on a delta. So the de the difference between the number and zero point five. That's like the the delta. Yeah. Okay. Usually I can kind of feel it out. All right, so 
HD is going to be the, the hour delta, or just delta. Delta is um, hour minus 0 0.5. Nice, that was it. Boogie's a genius. All right, so we'll do we'll do a const double. Night length is uh, zero point two. Let's call it night margin because I'm thinking of that as half. So 0 0.1 is gonna be like the night margin or this, this is the night margin right here. So, Actually, day margin is what we want. Day margin is 0 0.4. So if, if delta, if the absolute value of the delta, well, yeah, I guess absolute value will work here. If abs or fabs, yeah, double fabs, if fabs, of delta is greater than day margin, then the hour So fab, so chic. Hmm, man. Why does this math seem so tricky right now? The hour gets compressed. So, so 0 0.25 becomes 0 0.1. Oh, that's right. So we need it if it's... Zero point two five. It's greater than zero point two five. Then it's going to be compressed. Otherwise, it's depressed or expanded. Hour equals something. Yeah. So if it's zero point Two five. It's it's right on the cusp. Then it becomes hour equals zero point five plus delta times the. 0 0.5 minus the mark day margin. Is that it? Is that the all? Let me think about this. So the delta, say, is 0 0.8. Or no, the de the de if it was if the hour was 0 0.8, then the delta would be 0 0.3. And then, yeah, so zero point, the delta would be 0 0.3. The hour then is going to become the delta 0 0.3 times 0 0.5 minus the day margin is 0 0.1. 
No, that's not right. Mm -hmm. Nice, you saved it, sweet. Is this actually day margin times two? So if day margin is 0 0.4, it's going to be 0 0.8 times the delta. So Man, I guess I got to do some algebra here, huh? Algebraic. That was so mathematical. <laughs> Never use the pictures folder. Nice, you got it uploaded. Wow, cool. That looks awesome, man. Wow, where'd you get the where'd you get the resources? <laughs> Mathematical. All right, let me get out of my pen and start doing some algebra. Because my brain sometimes requires visual feedback for doing math. Make this whole thing bigger. Make this whole background white and then draw in black so I can see where my pen is. <laughs> that was about my only weakness. <laughs> What's up, Gutting? Nice, guys. Pizza. Okay, so we have the number 0 0.75 times something equals 0 0.9. No, no, it's really, it's really like this. Zero point five time a oh, plus something times something.
And I think X is probably 0 0.25, the difference. Right? Yeah, Boogie, totally. Yeah, draw your question, write out your questions, all of a sudden you understand. Nice. You, how, oh, yeah, how'd that go, man, with the 110 one thing? So let's try 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25 times something equals 0 0.9. So now it's starting to make more sense. So we subtract 0 0.75 from both sides. We get 0 0.25. X equals, what's the difference between 0.9 and 0.15, right? 0.9 minus 0.75 is 0.15, yep, 0 0.15, okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. The stream, what? The stream having? Uh, 